In a previous video, we have discussed about how to create layer styles like this. If you're interested, you can click the link above. Layer style has many benefits, like it can edit the layer in a non-destructive way. It takes a while to create in the first time, but it could be used again and again in the future. There could be strokes, patterns, shadows, and many different overlays within one layer styles, so it could bring your graphic to the next level in seconds. And it's the easiest way to test the different styles for different projects in different stages. In this video, I will be covering all the basics for layer styles. The layer style panel can be found under Window Styles. I have deleted all the default styles because the default styles are not good for landscape architects. Let's import some. There are multiple layer styles under each file, so they are imported as a folder. Let's create a new layer and see how to use them. Fill with a full color uh, is black right now. The good thing about the layer style is it doesn't matter which color you fill because you can always cover it with a pattern or solid color. So you don't need to worry about changing the fill color in the rendering process. Applying the layer style is as simple as one click. Let's see here if we want to copy the layer style across to another layer. First way, we can right click, copy layer style, and paste layer style. Notice in this way, the fill 0% has been copied across from the original layer style. I'll undo it. The other way is to drag the FX icon across while pressing the Alt. By dragging, the fill setting hasn't been copied across. So if your layer style has changed the fill percentage, make sure to use the first way. Using the first way, you can also copy the layer effects across the documents. Then the layer style has been copied across. For the drop down menu, I'll take this as an example. Let's find which timber one is and zoom into the timber one area. Click the down area next to FX. You will see all the effects applied to this layer. You can control the whole layer style here or a single layer effect. Another common example is like this one. We want to change the line work into white instead of the black exported from AutoCAD. But the line work is an imported PDF and smart object in Photoshop. The easiest way is to change it from layer style. Using a color overlay, make it a solid white. Then the line work has been changed to white in a non-destructive way. And for example, we have another issue here is the line is too thin and we want to make it stronger so we can add another white stroke. The line weight can be controlled by the stroke size. Now the line work has been changed from black to a stronger white. While the layer is still a smart object and it can be replaced if the design has changed in AutoCAD. Saving the layer style is super simple. Drag to organize the layer styles to the folders. Use Shift to select multiple styles. And right click to export. I'll replace the timber one. And let's delete the timber folder and re-import. You can see that the new style has been saved within the same file. With any further questions, please comment below. 
I hope this is helpful in saving you some time and improving your working efficiency. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated with my latest tips. This way you will also have easy access to my channel if you want to refresh your memory in the future. Thanks for watching, see you in my next video.